Well, fewer public servants. What else have you got planned? What are your other big election pitches to the voters of Victoria? The, the one that uh, our candidate in northern Victoria, Tim Quilty, is very keen on is to raise the speed limit um, on the Hume Highway. He lives in Wodonga. He has to come down mm. to Melbourne quite often. I've heard him interviewed yeah. about that. I think he wants to limit of up to 140 k's. 140, yes. Yeah. So his argument is, I think it's quite legitimate, that it would actually bring the city closer to the country mm. and vice versa. Do, do you think yeah. I, I, I'm in favour of, of increased speed limits and have spoken about this extensively, but it seems to me that the countries that have higher speed limits, like Germany, for example, they also have a high level of driver training and they tend to also have very good automobiles, very good cars. Mm. Um, do, do you think Australians are good enough drivers to drive at 140 k's an hour up and down the Hume? Not on every road, but yes, I, I don't think that I, Australian drivers are any worse than drivers in Germany. I've driven in Germany. I can, I can swear to the fact they're not all good. No. Um, but um, And our cars are generally pretty good. Uh, we don't... We don't keep them for long, long periods on average, although some cars... Well, I think the Australian car fleet's on average about nine and a half or ten years old, so it's one of the older fleets on the, you know, in, in the Western how, world. How does it... Yeah, OK. I, I, I may be corrected on that, but my impression was that it was getting younger. But um, the point is that um, we have to accept the fact that there is an inherent risk in driving at any speed mm. over about 20 k's an hour. We're going to have accidents. So the question is... Um, how, what's an acceptable trade-off between a shorter driving time, so between um, Wodonga and Melbourne, reducing an hour from the travel uh, in the travel time if it was 140, and uh, the risk of uh, more accidents and more severe accidents. Now that's that's quite a moral question, and yet. Mm. We never debate it as a moral question. We debate it as a technical question. And we have these uh, road safety strategies that say, oh, zero deaths on the road. Mm. Speed kills, is, zero yeah, deaths. speed yeah. kills. All this, this emphasis on speed as if, um, you know, their ultimate aim is to reduce speed limits to 20 kilometres an hour so <laughs> nobody dies. Well, I can tell you, in some of those inner cities that you're running candidates, that's exactly what some of the local yeah. councils want to do. Yeah, they, All right. they hate cars. We'll take some calls in a moment. 9600 693 13 13 32. Senator David Leinholm is going to stick around at 19 after 4. On. 22 past 4, Senator David Leinholm from the Liberal Democrats is with us. His party is running... Uh, what are we thinking, 21 candidates in the upcoming state election, yeah. Senator? Yeah, that's right. 21 candidates, four in the lower house, 17 in the upper house. Uh, Peter, good afternoon. Oh, Senator, thanks for coming on Tom's program. Tom, thanks for taking the call. Pleasure. Uh, I, um, I've been chauffeured along Germany's autobahn and a couple of times, at well over the tonne or 160 kilometres an hour. But, so what's different about them is uh, they all seem to be concrete in, like, concrete, sidewalls on them, New Jersey barriers or however, and what they do not have is kangaroos. Ah, well that's so, true, although um, there, there, is a, there is a tribe of wallabies I believe that lives in a forest in Germany, but... Oh, they're, uh, they're, they're smaller than the kangaroos I have to miss. Right, well... But, well, thank, well th but thank you for the thought, I really, I go along with it 100%, uh, I'd love 140k down the Hume. Yeah, uh, Germany has deer, of course, mm. and uh, deer are not real good in um, on roads with cars and so forth. Anyway. Well, we have plenty of deer here in Victoria have, too, which yeah. is a problem. Um, but look, it's an issue. I mean, it, but it seems to me on on well made, you know, multiple lane roads like mm. the Hume, which are well maintained and well lit and so forth. I mean, look, even I think in New South Wales you can drive at 110, and Victoria it's 100. Um, yeah. The, the, yeah, our cars have improved, our roads have improved. Not every road is suitable for 140, obviously. Uh, there will be some that uh, where you wouldn't really want to increase the speed limit. But um, the, the fact is we are stuck in this speed kills time warp here in Australia, and it's not just Victoria, mm. where, you know, the assumption is that the slower we go, the better it is. And yet... You know, the slower we go, the longer it takes to get there, more likely we are to get distracted, um, to run off the road, fall asleep, all those sort of things. So there's a balance uh, got to be struck between the convenience of getting there in a reasonable time and the risk that we'll have an accident. Um, there, there is a methodology for actually determining what that balance is. It's called the 85th percentile. Hmm. It's a well-recognised uh, method where you take the speed limit off, let people travel at the speed they want, and then you reimpose the speed limit at the 85th percentile. And, and As in you let, you let people, so you have 100 people, you say drive any speed you like, 
the speed at which the 85th person drives yeah, is, is, is the, is the yeah. new limit. Yeah, right. and the good thing about that, of course, is that 85% of the population think the speed limit's OK and don't hate the coppers, mm. whereas at the moment 80, 85% of the population don't like the speed limit and they break it regularly, routinely. Uh, Gary, hello. Oh, thank you, Tom, and uh, thank you, Senator Lyon Helm. Um, I, I, I'm an old-fashioned driver. I drive a manual car, wind up windows, <laughs> both hands on the steering wheel, I think it's a fine idea, but the, condi- the trade-off must be if you're caught driving uh, with using a mobile phone, it's instant loss of licence. Mm. Yeah, mobile phones are uh, well known. There's good data that they distract people from uh, from safe driving. And, and of course, it's um, it's a serious offence even now just to touch your phone in every state. That's all that's all been agreed. Mm. Um, and also unnecessary with modern cars. Maybe not with Gary's yeah. um, old school car, but Correct. given that you can hook up your phone and they've all got voice activation, there's no good reason to to, to be touch to them. be touching it unless you want to text. And you shouldn't be trying no, to no, drive no, no, and no, text no, no, no. while you're driving anyway. Now I've got I've got a couple more questions for you. We'll go back to some calls shortly. Um, Preferences are a big issue. For example, in uh, again in my seat of um, of uh, Richmond and in a number of other inner city seats, the Liberal Party is contemplating doing what they call an open ticket, like not 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 telling people where to direct their preferences, and that that's designed to hurt the Labor Party. Oh, do you, do you first Liberal Democrats? Will you have how to vote cards? Well, there's two two answers to that because they're different depending on the legislative council or, mm-hmm. the, or the legislative assembly, upper house versus lower house. In the legislative assembly, we will have how to vote cards. Um, we can't cover every booth like the big parties do. So mm. We're a relatively small party, um, so we won't be everywhere, but we will be in some of the booths. Handing okay, them so, out. so so for and, the four candidates in lower house seats, mm-hmm. uh, there's three in the city ones and one in Gippsland. You will have a how to vote card. Uh, I have to. I'd have to talk to my Victorian branch to double check that. But mm. as far as I know, that's the case. Okay. And and our preferences would go. Uh, generally speaking, we prefer minor parties, and then we go would go because uh, the Liberals won't be running uh, in three of the four. We would go to Labor before the Greens. All right. So you put we, Labor before the Greens. Yeah. Yeah. We have a we have a general policy of uh, putting Labor before the Greens. Um, would be very rare for us to depart from that. In in Gippsland, East Gippsland, um, I I would need to talk to our people on the ground there because that's a National Party seat, I think, um, and I don't know who else is running, so I need to double check. We, we've, we've looked at that seat. If it's the same seat I'm thinking of, you've actually got a, 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 the sitting member was in the Nationals and has now left the party, but okay. but may or may not recontest the seat. And then there's an official National Party candidate as well, which does complicate things. Yeah.